It is time for your health check and time to head back to the classroom for students in Richardson ISD. Happy first day of school. Look, if your kids spent last year learning remotely, it's common for them and for you to feel nervous about heading back into the classroom this year. Pediatric psychologists say if you notice your child feeling anxious about returning, offer them some reassurance. Remind them that other kids are likely going through the same thing. And if they ask you about masks and vaccines, doctors say, look, make sure that your answers are simple and to the point. Don't feel like as parents, you have to give them the, the $10,000 explanation that goes into the vaccines and the immune system and whatever. As kids get older, they'll ask questions if they have questions. Little kids, they need the little bits that say, we want you to do this, it's important to us. And most kids do wanna please mom and dad at that age. Now, if your kiddos keep making excuses to stay home from school, do consider talking to a medical professional. So parents, what do you need to know about the Delta variant right now? Well, first, data is still being collected. That's really important. So know that the numbers that you see and read and hear are fluid and they will continue to be. Pediatric infectious disease specialists say children don't always show symptoms even if they are infected, and typically if they do show symptoms, those symptoms are mild, mimicking a cold. But sometimes, unfortunately, as we have seen, this disease does take over and require hospitalization. Now, medical experts haven't changed their tune about this. They say school can be a safe place for kids to thrive. The best ways to keep them safe and healthy and as protected as possible, three things, masks, physical distancing, and vaccinating those kids ages 12 and up. Now on the topic of vaccination, I know it's a touchy subject for some of you. Maybe you and your kids are vaccinated, but you wonder if their friends are, is it okay to ask? Well, pediatric psychologists say, look, if you are worried about your kids being around people who are not vaccinated, then yeah, it's okay to ask, but it's important to remain respectful, okay? So for instance, if your kids get invited to a friend's house and the parents say they're not vaccinated, Avoid lecturing those adults, right? Instead, politely thank them for the invitation. Suggest that the kids get together outside another time. Now, if you have a specific concern like, hey, grandma lives with us or someone in the household has other health issues, then share it with the other parents if you think that it feels appropriate. That may foster some understanding. Doctors also say be mindful of how you're explaining to your kids that they can't go to a friend's house. Keep it simple so they understand but no need to overwhelm them because these conversations about vaccines and masks really can get very intense for some people. And honestly, putting kids in the middle of that isn't helpful and can add to their stress. All right, that's your health check.